What's going on? It's Harris, founder of Open Rights Only. Um, I already recorded this video actually, and the audio was turned off. So we're just going to start from the top again. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this second sales letter. It's day two of the challenge for the next 365 days. We're doing a sales letter. Um, this is an investment sales letter. I was going to go through the entire health niche, but I think it's going to be more a lot easier for me if I can kind of jump to sales letter to sales letter. Um, from different niches. And again, I've been doing this kind of practically for the last year already just to sharpen my direct response skills. I just thought it'd be a good idea to show it to y'all, kind of help you fix your direct response skills, see how I'm kind of dissecting these. I'm not really necessarily reading the entire thing, more of understanding the structure. Now, for you, you might need to read this entire sales letter to dial in your direct response kind of flow. But for me right now, the most important thing is uh, structure. So that's what I'm focusing on. Cool. Let's get right into this. Hopefully everyone had a happy new year. It is January 1st. Super excited for this year. Um, really excited for the agency and uh, we're going to crush, but awesome. Let's get into today's video. So we're going to get right into this pretty quickly. <clears throat> so here you go. Nation's top tech investor, the number way to profit in. Okay. So, so credibility, right? Nation's top tech investor, excuse me, and then the number one way to profit in Trump's second term. So that's a pretty unique angle. Nobody probably has that angle. The number one way to profit in Trump's second term. So that's pretty interesting. Silicon Valley millionaire Jeff Brown's explained. So, right, you have credibility, something that you can probably tap into, more credibility. It goes into how it's not a political advertisement. Nobody in DC has proved this message, not an endorsement of any kind. Basically, who who is this? And it's going to be you know Jeff Brown or yeah Jeff Brown. So they prime you. This is interesting. Um, this is kind of a and I already broke this entire thing down, but this is more of like an attention slash proof angle. So basically, they're telling you about who this person is. That basically, whatever you read under this, you're going to want to listen to it, right? Because it's from the a graduate from Yale, former tech executive, one of the best track, right? It's they're priming you. So whatever you read below this, you're going to be more likely to take action, more likely to, to kind of soak in what he's saying because it's from a credible source. So a lot of brands use this just in a different way and you can kind of create your own ways to think about this, but just something to think about. So I would say attention proof credibility is right here goes into um, him now speaking, um, kind of tapping into the media a little bit, right? It's almost like the media wants us to fail. Um, he's basically saying everything is great. The economy is great. Trump is amazing. Um, and the media, but the only thing is the media wants us to fail, but he believes America hasn't even begun to peak. So it's kind of an interest problem here. So he went with the attention proof, so the attention credibility, into an interest slash somewhat of a problem, and then the desire. Donald Trump might be the greatest president in American history, so desire now, right? Now we're tapping into uh, desire, right? Desire, desire, desire. Kind of proof here. This is, this is a lot of proof, right? Um, I'm just going to switch this to we're just going to switch this to proof so what you notice is he he grabs your attention with who he is he lists all the amazing things that's happening but he, want, but he thinks the media is kind of telling him to fail. Every country is supposed to surpass us or overtake us. First, it was Germany, blah, blah, blah. But he believes that we haven't even begun to peak. Then he goes into showing you about how Trump has supercharged all tech stocks. So this is all just desire here. Now you're, now you're hooked. Now you're like, oh, my God. Ameristar, the galaxy, everything's up so much. Um, this message isn't about politics. I'm not here to tell you who you vote for. So kind of leaning in the middle. Basically, it doesn't matter who you voted for. There's just opportunity here. Um, and then kind of the mechanism here. So you'll see the proof, desire. There's one thing that held Trump back at the team level. It's like he had his arm tied behind him. Trump's his biggest part. Um, only a few presidents. Upcoming Trump will free himself. Thanks to surprise. Well, technology. So specifically in the issue where I've made most of my fortune, technology, mechanism, and then desire. Um, 
sending tech stocks to the roof. Golden age, you know, people are going to write this in the history books, basically. I believe they'll shock the Putin's and win it all, blah, 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 um, start of his, but he believes it'll only happen at the start of the second term. You can make a profit. So it's probably in the future just by a little bit. I'm not sure exactly when the sales order was made, but I'm sure it's just in the future, just slightly. Just a couple of years, more proof. So mechanism, technology, desire, slash proof, or this is just desire, right? Desire. Look at all these stocks going up. Even quoting Donald Trump himself saying, very exciting the world of technology, right? Reiterating that mechanism of technology. Um, again, just saying, now I believe stocks are a secret plan about how to rocket fuel to the hot tech. So he's already saying the market is hot, but he believes it's going to get even hotter. Um, there's already a few stocks. Golden age, I'm talking about cold, hard technology. But let me be clear, I believe tech stocks are all good buys right now. Um, and again, he says all of that, now you're hooked, but then he reiterates his credibility to make sure that you're not kind of getting bored or you're not sure if this guy's legit. Reiterates who he is, 93% of the investments. Some are incredible, stake is up 800%, my investment up 1800%, 730%, right? Now, now you're hooked back again, okay, this guy's legit. More proof about how these tech stocks are going to crush, right? Tech stocks are crushing, tech stocks are crushing. Desire, 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 desire. Who am I? Desire, desire, desire how to make a fortune. But let me be clear, this won't happen because of a trade deal or China, the Holy Grail, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna add more jobs, um, inject more than $76 in our already booming eco economy. I'm talking about the largest corporate tax cut in American history. Um, so, oops, let's go back to that. <laughs> So desire, we have another mechanism. I didn't really see that one, actually. <laughs> tax cut, there we go. So it's saying the tax cut is gonna be crazy. Proof, and this is the same thing. I, I kind of have desire and proof hand in hand here. So you're gonna see desire and proof, basically the same thing for me. Um, I can kind of understand this. Might be a little bit harder for you too, just because I have a different, different, bunch of different words in here. So largest tax cut is about to happen. Desire, 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 desire. Trump tax cut, how to profit, the how. Um, former White House, um, you and cross support tax cuts, everyone's a winner. Proof. So, bull market keeps on rolling, this happened before. So, the how, proof, tech stops going up, basically desire, 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 desire. I predict the corporate tax will be slashed by 50%, 7%. So, his kind of what he thinks is going to happen. Remember who this guy is. This guy is a, you know, best portfolio. Um, graduate from Yale. Now you're thinking, okay, this guy's legit. He has, he knows it all. He gets it. Um, my three point plan. So now his three point plan, what he thinks is going to happen and then goes into a new mechanism of 5g, right? So he'll show you everything about, he's basically tell you everything about all his kind of strategies tells you how good he is, again, kind of reiterates that um, in my plan. So it's like a my plan slash um, proof. Just one more credibility. Just in case you weren't convinced yet, you're convinced now. And you can keep reading, but we're entering the golden age. That's why I want to send you my free copy, my step-by-step -step guide, the three companies. So this is like a, a proof, and then he goes into like some fascinations here, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm gonna kind of sneak that in. So fascinations, and then he goes into another mechanism, 5G. Um, 5G was crazy back in 20. Even my mom, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa all knew about 5G. Um, everyone started to hype it up, and these sales letters started to come out of nowhere almost. And even I started to understand, learn about 5G. And I knew nothing about 5G, and I, I even was hyped up about 5G, but. Was it as crazy as it really, you know, ended up being? Yes, and also no, right? That's the beauty of direct response, kind of getting you to feel super excited for something, and then when it's here, it's not obviously as exciting, but it is still very exciting. Um, that's the whole point of copy. Cool. Um, fa fascinations, mechanism 5G, proof, tech stops going up, 5G. These are all 5G things probably. And it's just the beginning, right? And then more arguments about 5G, just kind of just going in. 5G, 4G, um, 5G, 5G. So this is all just like 
talking about 5G. So I'm going to text our command. I'm going to send it to you for free. So now he's telling you all the fascinations that he's going to give you. So how to profit on the biggest tax cut, the 5G device, every you know the best stocks in the market. Basically, these companies are going to make my investment in my tech startup. So I'm going to percent Yeah, right. Really interesting the way he he he. Um, so it's like desire into fascinations into right here at the end. And then of course, more desire, right? If you if you would have just seen in the future, right? Desire into testimonials, into more desire. Um, it's gonna be crazy. And then shows the product about what the product is. So it's like sign up for the new future report. So this is a whole sales letter that just is getting you to sign up to a report basically. So you're going to get all this stuff above and all those fascinations you said, you get it when you sign up for the report. I'll tell you in just a moment. So a lot of these direct response writers, writers will use these sort of hooks to keep you reading. I'll tell you in just a minute for but Just wait for just a second before I get into this, this, right? Because then it kind of primes your brain to wait for the next thing. And it, it's almost like dopamine. Um, recept your receptors in your brain are super excited and there's something to hold on to, something to hold on. And you keep holding on to things and then it comes back to it, which is really interesting. Um, tells you more, just more desire basically. And then bonuses. So then bonus, bonus, bonus. You get this, 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 this. Fascinations of everything you're going to get. Price anchor, less than just a cup of coffee a day. Typically, my publisher charges one ninety nine, but you're going to get it for this. And then, of course, money back, which I didn't actually put, so money back. If you're not satisfied for any reason, just keep it yourself. Um, just small rent rents these reports make you multiple thousands of dollars. Blah, blah, blah. P.S. We're living in unprecedented times. The only thing better in second terms. And there you go. Shop now. So, yeah. Um... Pretty simple sales letter. Nothing crazy out of the norm, but I would say, how could you lever leverage this in a e-com email? And that's the whole point of why I do this, is to one, sharpen my direct response skills and kind of teach my team the skills that, because um, they also go through sales letters as well, um, but we continually learn new structures, learn new ways to create emails. And, and you can see here, this is basically, a new email, a new structure, which you may be wondering how exactly is this new structure? There's so many different elements and that's why you have to break it down into kind of an email. Um, and obviously we have a specific way of doing that. Obviously I'm not going to give away exactly how we do that, but it's super important to understand all these elements, see which three or four are non-negotiable to have, and then how can you recreate the other elements into different specific points in the email? Um, and that's what we do. But you can tell here, this is kind of an ADA type framework and ADA into testimonials, who am I, a lot of credibility, and of course, a lot of desire. Um, and then showing the product, the bonuses, the fascinations, the price anchor, the money back. And this is kind of the go-to for most direct responses, like showing the product, the bonuses, the fascinations, the price anchor, and the money back. Just an amazing combo. And you can even do this in e-com. Um, you have to have like, obviously set up before where you show the product um, and then add a bonus, but you'll get this as well. Maybe what they'll get inside, price anchor. Um, we do this all the time. Um, so a lot of the products on the market, especially yours potentially, has an ability to maybe not fully anchor it, but you can say something like um, for only $20 a month, right? You probably have some sort of program where you can extend payments for your product. And even if you don't, you can find ways to anchor it. Um, there's always ways. And then of course, money back. You should have a money back on your e-com product. Basically every brand has that money back. It's a free way to get someone to purchase. Millions of people buy because of the money back. So think about that. Uh, millions of people buy because of the money back, thinking, oh, if I don't use it, I'll just return it and never end up returning it. I have personally bought thousands of things, not actually thousands, hundreds of things where I'll buy it because of the money back. I'm like, all right, I'll just return it if I don't like it and I'll just keep it just because, e even if I don't like it that much. Um, so money backs are amazing. I think they're the most amazing um, thing out there. And then of course, fascinations do extremely well. And you can really restructure these in e-com. However, 
Uh, you just have to, obviously, you can't be too salesy and direct responsey with e com. It's more branded fascinations, which um, I can't really show you right now, but just something to think about. But yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed this second sales letter breakdown. Um, this was the investment side of investment niche. I'm going to jump to another niche tomorrow, but I'm super excited to continue this um, 365 day challenge. If you're an e com brand, uh, seven or eight figures, and you're a CMO, CEO, or marketing manager, and you need someone to run your emails, do book a call below or send, shoot me an email, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. I'd love to have a chat and uh, run your emails. Thank you so much. It's Harris, and I'm out.